What's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Stephanie Santiago. You guys got to jump in. Oh. They already know who I am. Just good. I'm chicken in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Alexis, Texas, baby. All right. This is going to be a fun episode. I already could tell today just by um, the vibes from everybody. But Jessica Dime, first of all, this is your first time doing lip service. Yeah. Yes. Um, and you have a new show called The Mint. I do. Yes. And what what episode is it up to? Seven? <sighs> episode seven. The okay. fa- that's the one that's like everybody was waiting on. All right, but I feel like people know you from King of Diamonds, but then they mm-hmm. also know you from Love and Hip Hop and mm-hmm. then uh, Marriage Boot Camp, <laughs> yeah. a lot of different things. And now you have your own show. So congratulations. Thank you. Same to you. Thank you. We'd love to see it. Yes. Alexis, Texas. Hi. Welcome. Thank um, you for having me. A lot of people were very excited when we told them that you were going to be up here. A lot of guys. I, I can see. I know why. I know. <laughs> you have a lot of accolades. <laughs> I do. I do. I have a lot of assets. Yes. A lot of people like a lot of things. But yes, I appreciate you having me on. I'm um, a fan of your show. I feel like there's a lot of fun things that we can talk about that I'm excited to. And you have your own more. podcast too, Private Talk. Private Talk, yes. All right. So congratulations on that. See, I like it. Everybody's an entrepreneur. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think that's important for us to get into. But um, first of all, I was asking Gigi a question uh, when we were downstairs and we were like, we'll talk about it on the show. Mm-hmm. And I said to Gigi, because Gigi <laughs> has a daughter who is a little grown up. You know, we she's still look at her as a little up. girl. I can't help it. That's your daughter. I'm going to still look at her as a little girl. Yeah, she's so grown. But how old is she now? <laughs> She'll be 27 in a couple of days. Right. Oh, wow. And we've known her since she was like, you know, yeah. a little baby girl. But mm-hmm. anyway, I, I was like, would you be upset if she had an OnlyFans? And was, right. you know, because while everybody has them, it's different when it's your daughter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, what you thought? So I had to think about it. Because, you know, I have one and I also think about what my content is like and there's no porn because yeah. I've never been a porn star. Yeah. Um, I continue to stay in my lane of mm. just giving my sexy. Mm. So everybody knows me as being an exotic entertainer. So mm-hmm. that's, you know, how I became popular. Yeah. And um, so I still give that on my OnlyFans. However, this reminds me of when years ago I did a documentary and I was asked, would I ever let my daughter strip? Mm-hmm. And the answer I was asked no, that before too. Because I feel like I do things so that she doesn't have to. Right. Like, let me take this role and let me go through the struggle so that I can make your life easier. But what if she so, wants to? Because sometimes people do it just because. Right. So, on a personal level with my daughter, she's just not that girl. Like, my daughter is very tomboyish and she's very artsy. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't, she's like hoodies and hats and. You know, the most she's going to do is is crop her top and show her stomach. Like, she's not, like, into heels and makeup and, like, the whole sexy, you know, thing. Mm -hmm. So she's not that type of girl. But I also have nieces. One of my nieces, shout out to Ivy. She works at um, Cheetah in Atlanta, right? (laughs) I love Uh, Cheetah. And Pink Pony in Atlanta. So she's, you know, in the life. Um, If she wanted to start OnlyFans, I would help her. Right. The same way I helped her to start dancing. You know, she oh. wanted to dance and she wanted to dance like right after the pandemic and we're from Philly and the money is better in Atlanta. So when mm-hmm. she told me she wanted to dance right after the pandemic up in Philly, I'm like, no, girl, no. If you want to do it, do it right. Come to Atlanta, <laughs> live with me and I'll help you with these Gigi jewels. I'm going to mm-hmm. drop them all over you. Yeah. And she was able to succeed and become, you know, a top girl at her club. And she's, you know, living her best little stripper life right now. I so, know. I don't know if that's a yes or no answer, but right. you know, I think I it's mean, circumstantial. Yeah, right? yeah. I guess it's like if she wanted to do it, I think that you don't think you would stray her away, but you would give her the right path exactly. to do it. I think that if, but if it's not there, then why push it? One thing that, and Jessica, I'm sure you both can relate to, mm-hmm. is that when we are in the adult nightlife in the entertainment industry, when it comes to the adult side of things, and and the rated R, the rated X side of things, we get judged for that. Mm-hmm. And it's like we all have our own stories. We all have our own reasons why we chose this path. Mm-hmm. We all have we all have our own reasons why we chose the sex industry mm-hmm. versus being a nurse or being a bank teller. You know, mm-hmm. we all have our own reasons for doing what we do. Although mm-hmm. you could do both because there's definitely some. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but my point is that you know I was always judged for my choices, Me too. and. And I would never judge someone for theirs because mm-hmm. I know how that feels. Mm-hmm. Right, right. You know, I was a 19-year-old homeless 
mother of a two-year-old when mm -hmm. I decided to start dancing. Mm -hmm. So I kind of didn't have a choice. I was a double convicted felon at 19. What There wasn't a lot of job options for me. Yeah. So I did what I had to do to make sure that she never had to go down that path. Now, but again, with my nieces, you know, they are like my kids. Right. And I'm I'm stand beside them. <laughs> and and Jessica Dime, your show, The Men, is actually about women who are trying to get out of the club. Correct. Right? And mm -hmm. they have talent. Yeah. I got some that rap, some that sing. They, some, it's even one they could draw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want, they have businesses. Some of them sell like hair, clothing. Um, and they have more, like they want to build up their talent. Like they want to do more. I see it in them, but it's like certain things they do and certain ways they move. I feel like I wish somebody would have told me or put me to the side and let me know a little game, dropped a few jewels on me, like you mm -hmm. said, Gigi jewels, you know, and just put me up on stuff. You know, I guess when we was kind of, well, you know, with the King of Diamonds era, with me coming up, it was like a competition type thing. Nobody was really trying to help, help. nobody or right. put nobody up on mm. nothing. Then when we started getting into rapping, they're like, oh, these bitches trying they to really strip and so. rap. Where yeah. they think, who they think they are? Uh -huh. So it's kind of like, with the, <laughs> I want to do it where... I want to help you do it because mm -hmm. I have been there. Like right. I've been at the wish you would have had some help. Yeah, and I've been at the decision making time where it's like flow. Like you gonna sign your record deal or you gonna keep dancing? You mm -hmm. gotta pick. Can't one. do both, right? Because yeah. you were signing the flow writer. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I had to pick one. So it was like I had to just step out on it and and figure it out. But I'm here with the girls to try to help them figure mm -hmm. it out. And whatever they go on to do, sign record deals, do deals or whatever, I'm proud of them. I mm -hmm. want them to do that. Okay. Because it's going to be a transition period. I don't want people to think just because they get on the mint, you automatically at the club. Right. No, I'm just helping like them that. transition. You still got to do the work. Yeah, because yeah, that's what I'm, they want to do. I'm going to give you do. some advice yeah, and some and guidance. And they make a lot of money work mm. dancing in the club. So they got to be able to live that same lifestyle and be comfortable. Mm. But let's Ooh, start Ooh, but sometimes you it. do got to take some steps backwards financially in order, in order to, to move achieve. Forward. Yeah, and that's a fact. You mm -hmm. may not make that money you was making at the club. You may not, but you're going to be at so first. much more at peace. You invest that's in yourself. Not really what you yeah. Some girls like dancing. Yeah. Some girls enjoy it. They there was some, a girl you know, in the audition who was like, I don't want to stop. Yeah. yeah and I'm I like, said, I like being empowering. And you, you're Why like, well, here? yeah, that's not the point of being here, girl. The little bit of time that I was a stripper was like the best time of my life. I had a great time being a stripper. <laughs> but it's I can't not a, stand a depressed stripper. I feel bad. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like it's like doing it every night, yeah. back to back. And it it's not tiring. the same anymore. No. So let me mm -hmm. tell y'all something. And I know I've said this before, but is the mic on? If the money was still the same back in my day, if the money was still the same when I went back to Atlanta in 2019 I might have went back to the club in 2019 right mm, but that's why real. I think hustling I now is have. just differently now like with OnlyFans I feel like there's so many different avenues where there's not just porn there could be just pretty girls there's people mm. that are just doing the same thing as IG but stop being reported from it fans. so it's like to mm. me it's like make your money yeah, well Alexis money. Um, Alexis Texas is here let me ask you this did you have any guidance from any women who might have took you under their wing because for you you started when you were 21 oh, when I was 21 yeah. in the porn industry and you were just discovered you were working at a restaurant is that I was at a bar at a, bar. In a, okay. in a college town I was going to and mm -hmm. they were there was this a company called Shane's World which was the first um, reality type porn that they were looking for girls to do scenes that had never done them before so it was like it was kind of the prodigy of that movie or whatever they didn't really I just kind of hit it off really well with the guy and I was like I could make a lot of money I would have probably had sex with him anyways and <laughs> yeah. you know it was all Might be pathetic. Pathetic. That so um, for me I never thought I would do it ever again it was one of those things that at that time too you know um, internet porn wasn't a really big thing so it was like finding a needle in a haystack um, but with me I had so much fun that uh, they flew me out to Miami to do bang bros and mm -hmm. I had a great time and I loved the attention, the glitz, the glory, and the, you know, just the actual, like, I like sex. And to me, sex is kind of a form of art. So I was in a safe space. People are tested. You have do's and don'ts that you don't want to do. So it was a really safe space to be in to kind of let my 20s go wild. But did any women take you under their wing and, like, so, give you some guidance? <clears throat> like, this is what you should do. This is what you shouldn't mm -hmm. do. Let me help you get to the money the best way. So just how you said, like, in the strip club is very competitive. The industry was just very competitive, too. So a lot of people didn't want to give you gems. But mm -hmm. I was fortunate enough to like I had people like Belladonna who are big names in the industry that kind of took a liking to me and kind of not necessarily told me exactly what to do, but to kind of watch out for. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just kind of figured it out on my own. I, um, yeah, nobody really was kind of giving me any jewels of any sorts, but <laughs> I made my own. 
Yeah. Yeah. And one thing about her, she has a famous ass. That's one thing that they always mm-hmm. say. Yeah. Everything's bigger in Texas, is what they say. <laughs> this is this girl on my show be yeah. saying. It's true. It's and true. Nayeli, <laughs> please. <laughs> but no, I like you. But Ni- I like Nayeli too. But Nayeli was in the jumping situation. So I yeah. would her. But that jumping said, I can't I wait till the next episode. Sh- yeah, it was too much. I can't wait till these mics turn off so Everything. I can get some more tea from Jeff. And, <laughs> and people can catch up on the previous episodes too. They just look mm. at the subscription. Yeah, yes. on Now That's TV. The mm-hmm. show is on Now That's TV. You subscribe. It's just like, it's it's a guilty pleasure for mm-hmm. me. Even <laughs> before I got a show on there, I used to still like look at the shows. Okay. And I was like, oh, this is yeah. a lot. Yeah. But I'm it watching is. it. <laughs> I've actually had a subscription to that network for like a year. Right. Because like yeah. you said, it's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> I'm going to just say that. Yes. <laughs> you like, oh, what? And though, it's yeah. really good. So I was just like, just part, and then it's a black owned network. Mm-hmm. You know, I like to like build with people and just like be like be there in the beginning and just like see things grow. And I just see where it's going. Now this yeah. TV is like hot. Everybody like watching it, talking about it. Everybody's on there. And it's like different kind of shows that you never seen before. So mm-hmm. watching your show, um, The Girl Shout Out season one a lot. Like, like that's, they ripping, they say. Yes. I love that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are, are there more, more seasons to come? I'm, I'm, would you do it again? I, I would do a lot differently, okay. but I would do it again. What okay. would you change? I would change so much. <laughs> it's a learning experience, though, it when you is. do a she first. Got 13 yeah. girls in the house. 13 girls. I would change like some of the challenges. Okay. I would make it even harder. Okay. I would make it even harder. I would get more people like you other people to come in and kind of help me to help with the, you know give them a little game yeah. you know what I mean like I would I would well, bring, call me in girl you know I'm always down I gotta call, I'm gonna call you yeah. Yeah. cause I'm gonna need some Gigi's reinforcement good at stuff like that <laughs> yeah look I'm gonna be like Angela Gigi <laughs> <laughs> and Alexis what made you decide to start a podcast uh, I was I wanted to people to hear my voice. Mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, so much of, of my work is like my image and what people perceive me to be, but don't know anything about me. And mm-hmm. I feel like it was a, a good platform that I wasn't, you know, censored. I wasn't this, I wasn't that. So it gave me a really a good chance to kind of really connect with my fan base and also become vulnerable along the way to see a different side of me that I okay. haven't really kind of showcased before. And you were also married for a period of time. Unfortunately, I was. Ooh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I was going to say. Well, what I'm fortunate. So what what made you decide to even, like, did you feel like, did you really believe you were in love at the time? Or was it for others? Sometimes people get married for stability purposes. Mm. It was. I was definitely in love with the person. But I think the person, I think marriage changed changed um, mm-hmm. until like an ownership type thing afterwards. And I think it was just difference of communications and insecurities and a lot of things that um, that I didn't really see or want to see prior to being married. Mm-hmm. Um, so it just it was a toxic environment that I kind of just chose me first and had to get out. How hard was it to get out? I keep hearing right now, a lot of people I know are getting divorced, unfortunately. And for some people, it is really, really difficult, especially when one person doesn't want to do, <laughs> want to do it, it yeah. or make it easy for you. Mm-hmm. For sure. Um, it, it Definitely, I will say, even though it was my decision, it was one of the hardest things I've ever had to go through, even though, like I said, it was my choice and my well-being um, because I did love this person and I only wanted to be married once. And I do believe in marriage. Um, I was just married to the wrong person. Mm-hmm. Um, and then unwinding people's lives and financials and things like that. So it definitely took a toll on those things, but I feel like staying true and like your path and just knowing what my message was at the end that I wanted, you know, safety, security, and just a peace of mind that I was doing the right thing, but it was definitely not easy. And I think up until just recently, have I really dealt with all like the trauma from it? Because mm-hmm. you like kind of just push it aside. I've been divorced for almost eight years, nine years. Mm-hmm. Um, but wow, you know, just recently you started. Yeah, to... because I feel like at the pandemic kind of like it all gave us the time to sit down and kind of mm-hmm. deal with our problems when I was just like, I was always on work mode that I just kind of pushed everything to the side. And then I just started to recognize patterns of how I chose men that I was dating and mm-hmm. things like that that kind of related to why I chose my husband or ex-husband at the time. And so um, just kind of refocusing on myself and figuring out what I really wanted from a partner and in life and things like that. It really kind of made me get over that completely. Wow. Was you, th- were you doing porn when you were married? I was. He was important as well. Oh, so y'all, did y'all always do it together or did y'all do it with different people while y'all was married? Yes, we did How both. How did that go? 
Um, for me, I don't think porn was ever our um, our you problem should. because mm. we were really good at yeah, communicating in that part about mm. what we liked. That's how we, we met like. each other. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Were there like rules and boundaries that you guys had set? We did, and that's why he was already established prior to me. And then, so me coming into it, he, I kind of was a sounding ground to ask questions and stuff like that. But we were very vocal about what we wanted and liked and didn't like. Um, but there wasn't also a lot of a lot of rules because I feel like that's kind of inhibits what you really want to do either right. so it's kind of like it was aligned in a lot of ways yeah. um mm. i think at home was the more of the issues of okay. how i became alexis texas and nobody knew how big that was going to really be and mm. how that hit his ego and how mm. that makes you feel and all those things um kind of playing to you know playing i'm just mm. like i'm just doing me i'm just how trying long shaking were you guys married for? uh we were married for three years uh together for five when did you realize how big you were getting because Obviously, you went into this, you were like, okay, the internet wasn't, you know, as accessible or big as it became. But at first, like you said, it was like a needle in a haystack type mm -hmm. of thing. When did you realize, like, the first time oh, somebody shit, recognized you mm -hmm. and then people were like, oh, my God? Um, I think, like, when I started to go out to other places other than L.A. and, like, people were, like, doing weird things, looking at their phone when they were, like, looking at my porn and, like, being, like, <laughs> showing the person. And I'm like, what are they talking about? So when, I'm very, like... Um, alpha and very in your face, like, hey, what are you looking at? And so then I see it a couple of times and then I'm like, oh yeah, that's me. Hi, just say hi. Like, I don't know what you to say. Um, just a lot of those situations Then people ask me if, like for the first picture and like really recognizing you outside of that. Um, and for me is, you know, in the time of important, I'm not the this tiniest girl. I'm not, I'm usually like, it's a blonde, blonde girl, skinny girl with like big fake tits and that whole image where I was one of the first people to be like a curvy girl with a big mm -hmm. booty and I didn't really have to worry those things. So that stigma of body shaming and stuff definitely came in the beginning, but I was welcomed. And what I love the most is when women would come up to me and be like, you know, thank you so much for allowing me to be beautiful in my own skin because you kind of let that be okay in the world. Mm. So I feel like those things kind of really made me feel like, oh, like this is how I express myself in art and that's my sexual encounters. Mm. And what about working with black men too? What has that been like? Cause I know there can be a taboo um, in the beginning. I've heard women say that for um, doing porn, for if you do porn with black men, then it kind of decreases your value. But is that changing? Mm. I feel like I wouldn't say the decreasing of value. I just think times have changed. I feel like, you know, when, in the beginning of when I started, we know we have agencies and, you know, we have contracts and all these things in place where they kind of tell you when to do things or like how to do things in your career, or when that's going to, you know, be the height of certain things to blow up. Um, so I definitely think nowadays things have definitely changed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's not as stigmatized as it once before was. Um, but I feel like it definitely doesn't devalue you at all. I think the times have definitely changed and, and just in the world. So I feel like it's, you know, kind of catching up with all those things as well. Yeah, because I could see with the curvy women, you already We're know, like, dude, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. to watch. Because uh, that interracial porn is a thing, too. Yeah. yeah. It's it definitely a, it's a big, a big seller. Definitely people all want to talk about it, want to see, see it. And I definitely, that's kind of one of my things of where it's like, I feel like I never literally, I left the industry in a way that I didn't really, not so I didn't have a say, but I didn't have really a say on my, how I ran things and mm -hmm. how my brand was. So for like me, it's now it's like me wanting to rebrand and coming back into the business and kind of making it my own way and my, mm -hmm. owning my own stuff and kind of building on my brand that I already have and making it a bigger thing. I feel like that has been something that we heard a lot from different um women in porn that we have on the show mm -hmm. where they say like I'm taking over my career and I'm making my own decisions and I'm directing and producing and, well that's why with um, like the things like OnlyFans kind of really gave us the gateway to kind of do those things where before mm -hmm. it's like people even as yeah, big yeah. as my name was is like I also not again that it's my body but I didn't really all have the say you mm -hmm. know in management wise of what I truly always Wanted did so yeah. it's like yeah. now it's like that I am my own owner and I, of my company and I am can and do those things where now I have my own platform like an yeah. OnlyFans that I can make my own productions and I can do it my way and not a way that people wanted me to do it or in those senses. So I definitely feel like platforms like OnlyFans and those types of content creator like situations have really helped the industry kind of everyone do their own thing. Yeah. Right. Because then you're at home, you have your setup, you yeah. know how to do things, you start learning how to edit, especially during the pandemic. For sure. Everybody was like, okay, I got to figure out yeah. how can I do this without a team of people For and sure. do it on my own. What made you decide to leave the business? Um, I think it was just where I was in my life. You know, I was with somebody that, you know, 
I was in a contract first with, and then so we, with contracts, you kind of do limited kind of scenes. And so you're not doing so much. And then I ended up being in a relationship that kind of didn't really want me to be in the industry anymore. And I was kind of already on my way out. And then the pandemic happened. So Mm -hmm. it was kind of all full circle. Um, So it just kind of, again, at that time I was working so much in so many different things from dancing to, you know, movies and um, all, you know, appearances and stuff that you don't really have a time to focus on one thing. So I think that, you know, now it's kind of like, I enjoy doing my podcasts. You know, I love, you know, talking to people, getting to know people. And that's been a lot of fun. But I also now with these girls coming on my podcast and getting to know more how they're doing the business, Mm -hmm. I see things that I definitely can capitalize on my own and things that I wanted to do my own self as well. And then before me doing the podcast, I felt like I had to have a self separation between the two where now I'm in this place where I can do both. All right, you know, there's I like no reason that. to choose. Mm-hmm. You know, if if you want to do it all, you can do it all. And that's kind of I want to do it all. That's kind of why I started lip service back in the day. A lot of women were like in the music videos and in the magazines, mm-hmm. but nobody got to hear their personalities or hear them talk. So I was like, why not give a platform that's not about that, but about your personality mm-hmm. for sure? Mm-hmm. You know, and people are interested. And since we're talking relationships, uh, Jessica Dime, how, do you think marriage boot camp helped your relationship? Um, because we watched the show, it's entertaining. Um, t- and at that point, you weren't married, and you were. I was married. Oh, you were. I thought yeah. you were saying, "When are we getting married?" Yeah. Oh, okay. It was TV. Okay. Okay. Oh, so you were. Married. It was TV. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, do you think it did help? Like, did you take anything but the from actual, that? Ac- the actual working with Doctor Ish mm-hmm. and what was the lady name? Um, Doctor B. It actually did help us. Like, they actually were trying to, like, give us pointers, help us. They'll tell us the truth, you know, no, telling my husband, no, you 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 wrong, or telling me, no, dime, you can handle that a different way. And it did help, but I feel like they'd still play games TV-wise. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, to get a show, mm-hmm. but just all in all with it just being a counseling with the couples-wise, yes, it did help. What, like, what are some things that are lessons that have helped you in your relationship that you would say you didn't know before the show? Okay, it was it was like more so the communication. Like, mm-hmm. um, they was just trying to show us like more so like how you talk to your partner. More so, like you can say what you want to say. It's more so like how you're saying That's it. That's true. The, 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 the delivery. delivery. Mm-hmm. What you giving it to him? They say you're still not supposed. A man. Yeah, they say you're yeah. not supposed to use the words never or always. Like you never do this or you yeah, always be do positive. That. Yeah. Always like a positive instead of negative words. Mm-hmm. You know, just like. And they were telling him certain stuff like, stop trying to be so bossy. We know you the man. Right. You don't have to do that. You know, mm-hmm. like, so it was it was a learning experience for both of us because we were both open and willing to take it in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was fun. We went to L.A. We was with Walker, Tammy, Soldier. We were still having fun right, right. in the house. So it was like. That was a wild house. Yeah, that was. <laughs> that was the best I think season. that might have been one of the that craziest of the, seasons that was ever. The best that was <laughs> the best season. Very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And I know we didn't discuss this yet because we talked about this in Vegas, but Gigi is no longer engaged. I, I am we- not. What? Oh, no. <laughs> is it a good engaged? thing or a bad thing? Is this is a way good. Girl. Girl. Yeah, we haven't really discussed this. We on have here not. Yet. Can we discuss? This? Well, yes, I do like to say I'm Dr. What Texas happened? without the PhD. Come so on, we're Dr. Here to Texas. Listen. Let's do <laughs> so first of all, you need to know a little background. Okay, it was a real quick situation. Okay, like and you got engaged in date, a quick situation. Yeah, first date was we it love bombing? Third, third date together, we was engaged. Third, I got his name tattooed on me, everything. And <laughs> Gigi, yeah, <laughs> and um, sixty days later, approximately, give or take, sixty days later, I just decided that um, he, in fact, was not the one. Why? What? 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 So I was no, not. I so, I actually so I was not getting what I needed, and you Sexually know, I am. I just feel like that the relationship wasn't priority. I spent thirty days with him, and once I couldn't, like, I was up under him for thirty whole days. I stayed at his house with him thirty whole days, and then I, I got to work. I got to hustle. I yeah, got to get up. I got to yeah. travel. I got to grind. I got shit to do. Yeah. So, but like, downtown Texas, Texas, just wanted to know sexually, were you getting what you sexually? I that's, mean, the sex was why the sex was engaged. the sex was good, but it wasn't a lot of the sex. sex was the good. sex was good. It wasn't a lot. But no, we didn't have a whole lot of sex. But okay. when we did have sex, it was it was it was actually good. Okay. Um, 
once I had to like move around and I wasn't up under him, it, things changed. And then I kind of felt like he wasn't putting forth the effort to make things happen. It was kind of like out of sight, out of mind. Really? And, uh, yeah. And I am very um, boisterous. Like I express myself very well. I have no problems communicating my feelings, my thoughts. And I spoke on it to him a couple of times. And, you know, he would say like, oh, baby, I'm busy this or, you know, my business dad or whatever the case may be. And then it was like the actions and the words wasn't and the math yeah. wasn't math then. And I'm only going to say my piece two or three times before I say peace. Right. <laughs> and that's basically what so I did. So did you like ghost or were you like, told no, him, like told this him. isn't working I out and you, like him. he wasn't like, baby, him. please don't leave I me. I gave him a, <laughs> basically I gave him like a warning. You gave like, him a 30 day I'm, notice? I gave him a warning <laughs> and when things <laughs> didn't change, I was like, okay, this is me letting you know I'm But done. good for you. Yeah, I mean, that's a big moment though to like not go all the way through. Like he's still like reaching out and I'm just now like, I'm just can't go back. you were engaged to him though. And guess what? I would just ghost and engaged have. I would have married him. I would have married him the next it's day. It's probably better than it did. But it was well, yeah. good you spent that 30 even, days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's just a lot. Because yeah. look if you would have gone and you would have to alter at 30 days. Yeah. And then after this, right. you know, 31 or 32, then and you don't really know. You could have got like, your K-1 visa. Listen, it's a great story. <laughs> I love Come 90 on, 60 Day Fiance. Yes, I'm in the new season J30 yesterday. I'm all in. I can't wait. definitely watched it. So, you know, at the end of the day, right, everybody has what they had to say about the situation, especially about the tattoo. But y'all know me. Well enough she I got, already got it up already. I already got it covered. I swear, I, already, I will show y'all. I already got it covered. I Shout out to the covered. tattoo artist. Yeah, I already got it covered. Shout out to Ty. I already got it covered. But, but how many so men's name have you had on you? Is that the first one? No, it's not the first. <laughs> She's quick to get a tattoo. How many have you gotten covered up? I've gotten. A tattoo is not a big yeah, deal. It's not a big deal. And I, don't that was have any. I don't have it's any. Just, I don't have any. I have my whole body head to toe. Yeah, my head to toe. That would be a big my, deal to me. My body is tatted head to toe. I was with the same man for 11 years and had him three times. Okay. So, and they're all covered. Okay. So, I mean, you know, maybe it's a pattern. Yeah. But um, the tattoo wasn't that big of a deal to me. Okay. And I just honestly feel like I called his bluff because it was him selling himself to me mm-hmm. with I'm this kind of man and, and God sent you to me and I want to marry you. I want to marry you. He loved my life. Yeah. Because and, he liked it. And he liked it. And he called his bluff. Yeah. And I call his bluff because you're not going to play on my face. Yeah. If this is really how you feel, then stand on it. Let's do it now. But that's why I say I'm proud because most women be won't even admit though. that because he that right. is. It. It. it was him, not me. But, okay, just because he feel like that. Why do we have to be like right now? No, no. We wasn't going to get married right away. But the engagement happened right away because don't play with me. If this really what you want, then prove it. What the guys we couldn't have been a year later. Prove nah, it. they could have. If he wants, he if he really, all, this, all the, exactly. I love you. I'ma die for you. That's it. I could die right here, right now. They well, should have got married. Then do the it. Same day. <laughs> do no. it. Then do it. They do it. They should do it. Right. Because if that's how you feel, you're not about to play in my no, face. No, exactly. So if that's she, how you feel, I'm calling your bluff. Let's do I, it. I, 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 like know, I think you could. Bluff. I did call love his bluff. somebody. Call his bluff for and want to be with them and not get married. I've had someone call my bluff, and I'm like, yeah, just kidding. I didn't really. Yeah, see, like when I meet my girlfriend, I'm like, I don't want to be You know, put it on that man in the same. We're getting married. Okay, so let's go to the mean. court on Tuesday, <laughs> yes. and then I got to do lip service on Wednesday. Hello, that part. Right? And that's how Honeymoon on Thursday. Exactly. <laughs> and and, and if not, we're going to break up on Friday. Well, right. So you said you guys didn't have sex a lot. Did that no. bother you? Because you're a very sexual person. Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could have had more sex. <laughs> we could have had more sex. You One know? thing I'm glad I didn't do, I was gonna give him a threesome, and I'm glad I didn't do that. Ooh. See, I can't. I'm not. That would be for you do, too. I can't do it with but my I, husband. But he wanted it though. Okay. But don't they all he want it? it? Yeah, I mean, they I wanted. Want I, I, I but wanted the thing too. is, G likes girls yeah. too, so that no. would have just been a special, special. treat for him. Yeah. yeah, it would have been. But it was yeah, the fact that he asked for it, and no, I didn't he didn't look. Not he didn't earn it. Deserve. No, he didn't earn it. Was the ring nice? He didn't earn it. She didn't get a ring. No ring. Oh no! If there's a ring, there's no proposal. What was the engagement in? Exactly. Just one. I thought he had the game. That's fugazi. He's left my drink down. <laughs> so wait, yeah, all right. So, so if you would have, let's just say you would have had a threesome with him. What would the rules have been? Like, can oh, the other yeah. girl like toss his salad? Oh or? God, no, he didn't. <laughs> ah, he straight, didn't. Um, that wasn't his thing. thing. <laughs> I'm just asking. Is it rules? That was that not, man ass. That wasn't his thing. <laughs> but so I'm just saying, is that allowed? Thing. Like, I've but, had a threesome before when the girl decided that she wanted to eat some ass, and mm-hmm. you know, the guy liked it. Man so ass? I didn't stop her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, you like was, at least I don't have to do it. Well, I mean, she yeah. already, she, I already told her that that was something that he liked. So when she felt like she wanted to do it, she did it. Like, I wasn't gonna stop her. I, I mean, you, I couldn't have stopped her. I was, right. Do you know what she had? She was yeah, like two and more. But your man, you didn't want to have no threesome with him. 
I would I would not have gave it to him. I, I was going to save that for after the wedding. Mm-hmm. Like he was going to yeah. have to wait until after the wedding. That's, have you done that in your, in your marriage? No. no. That's one thing, like... We haven't done, but we talk about it and stuff. He he don't pressure me about it or nothing, mm. but I know there's some he cool. He would be cool. Do you about like him. girls? Yeah. Do you, you like girls as well? Girls? Yeah, mm-hmm. not now. I don't like girls like when I was a little younger. I was more into girls than I am now. Like, okay, I don't. So I used bad. to. Yeah, it's kind of like oh, I don't know. So it's really something my boat, to do. You know? Honestly, yeah, no, I don't really see fun. no girl to be like. Yeah. Mm. And and honestly, <laughs> all the women that I've ever been with, I could never see myself in a relationship no, with women. No, no, I never, I've never taken it that, that far. I just, you know, it's fun. I'm, it's like three D masturbation. But like, I was why like, that's why I like porn because I didn't have to do any of them. I just, I want to do the threesome. Like when we go out of town. Far, far away, out the country, definitely out the country, with a stamp. Uh-huh. <laughs> and we like getting drunk, everything, having a ball, and then we might see some fine girl over there. Who That's the never only way again. I give a threesome is in yeah. another country. And That's the way you see her again. Yeah, with a stranger. You just go to the spot, and never see you see her the again. girl, she's fl- she looks good. She's and let's clean. do what we do. You smell her, and, and, and then you bye. do what you do. You get on the plane, and, <laughs> and, that's it. and we back never to see you again. Yeah. Girl. Never see her again. I'll be trying to come. I don't have to worry about her. She has social media now. She don't have to worry about her reaching out. Period. That's kind of like a little fantasy. Yeah. She don't even got an iPhone. Okay. What you say? She don't even got an iPhone. Like. We're never going to see her again. She doesn't speak English. <laughs> Look, girl, we enjoyed you. <laughs> Thanks for your service. Alexis, did you, um, in your relationships, right, there's probably a high expectation of sex in a relationship with you. This is why dating is hard. Uh, okay, that's what I was going to ask you. Mm-hmm. So how are you when it's outside, not on camera, but like when you're in a relationship, do you do all the same things or are you like... All right, you know. I'm definitely in no way or shape or form a prude by any means. I don't think I could be Alexis Texas by any shape or form if I was. For me, I'm just I'm a highly sexual person. Um, so I do like to fuck a lot. Mm-hmm. But I don't know, like in my in my personal life, I think that it the main the problem is is they they want to fuck Alexis Texas at all times. But Alexis Texas is also a human that I like mm-hmm. have everyday things and whatever. So it's not always that. And then once they start catching feelings and they don't want to fuck Alexis Texas, they want to like fuck the other part of you. So it's kind of a toss Damn up. It. So for me at that point, when I was really like that, it was like a lot of me not knowing what I really wanted in men and just it was more of um, them picking me. At this point in my life, it's I'm picking them. So okay. it's like it's nice. like learning Not like who likes you, but yeah. okay. like no scraps allowed. You know what I mean? It's not mm-hmm. just because for the validation of being liked. For me now, it's about like, what do I need? What standards? Mm-hmm. What boundaries? What, you know, what kind of fits into my life now? Mm-hmm. And so I kind of, that helps weeding out the kind of bullshit because mm-hmm. I can't hide being Alexis Texas. I've been being <laughs> doing porn for over 15 plus years. So it's like, it's never going to go away. What do you do when someone falls in, when you fall in love, after you fall in love and they don't want to fuck you anymore? Then I leave. Like, who, who falls yeah. in love and fucks <laughs> I was with somebody on and off for a long time. And when we first got together, we used to have the mm-hmm. nastiest, most disgusting sex. We used to fight and like... Right, so toxic, toxic love, sex. Mm-hmm. Like he would just hurt me, hurt my body. <laughs> <laughs> and then after he fell in love with me, like if I even like shook my ass a certain way, I couldn't twerk around them. If I said fuck me while we were having sex, there would be times I he'll be like, "What? Like that's it? We're not having sex no more? Like why are you talking to me like that? Like it's you're funny talking like a whore." And I'm like, what? "We I were we were whores together, <laughs> right?" <laughs> yeah, he was right. cheating. Right. With the horse. But see, that's why it's funny because I feel like in those <laughs> senses, like people, like again, if it's settling or not because of the fighting and whatever was great, but obviously, ultimately, somewhere in that relationship wouldn't work because if it did, he would have let you be fully you, the whore, not the whore, the whatever exactly, you wanted to be. Like, but that's yeah. why he goes and steps out elsewhere because he wants to be nice to you, but he wants mm-hmm. to disrespect the whore, exactly. which doesn't make any sense. No, mm-hmm. and I get it. And but it, it's like I want the kisses on the forehead and all the but why, but why shit. do you have to choose? But you should exactly, get both. I want right. to get slapped mm-hmm. around a little bit sometimes <laughs> too. Yeah. But that's yes. what if you gotta, but there is a man out there that will yes. do that. You just have to find the right one. He wasn't oh, it. Man. He wasn't it. You think you I can, haven't found him yet I either? Because I don't. I'm, I'm still single. So. You think you can train a man to be the way that you want him to be? How and sexually or just in a relationship? Both. Like, do you think you can like? Yes, sexually, like kind of train him. Definitely, I say you want to be slapped sexually. 
I think I that think so. both. I think it just you have to have a willing partner to want to like grow they with you because yeah. if like yeah. nobody wants to be told what to do, like you they know nobody's it. like you know yeah. a mom or a dad situation. But it's mm -hmm. like if you're a partnership, it's like it's yeah. work. Relationships take work in any it's, relationship. They do. Friendship, and you, you know, say. partnerships. I mean, it's how you say it, not what you say. Just yeah, going exactly. back to how the exactly. the doctors were in the house that she was in for marriage boot camp. It's mm -hmm. like your tone and your delivery mm -hmm. matters more. And than he the has to be able to accept me actually telling him something, like style communication and reciprocation. Because right. I'm gonna take your advice. Yeah. I'm gonna listen to what you say too. Mm -hmm. I yeah. want you to tell me, school me, baby. Teach me yeah. how to please you. Constructive criticism what I want to do. is great. Yeah. Yeah. So now, what type of standards have you set for yourself? You know, um, I think for me, the biggest one was integrity. I don't think I even really knew what that meant in a man because I just felt like I dealt with a lot of fuck boys. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that, you know, someone who's honest, someone who's, you know, who's going to treat me right and not make me feel bad from my past, my future, my present. Mm -hmm. um, someone that is a leader, someone that um, can help me. I feel like I just need a partner to okay. kind of uplift in the growth part of things. Mm. So it's someone who's, you know, in leadership, growth, spirituality is really big for me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that those are my top ones. Yeah, trust is important. Yeah. To even be able to trust somebody where you can go to them and have a conversation about something that happened that day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they know that maybe I just need you to just listen mm -hmm. and not say anything. Or maybe mm -hmm. I need you to, if I ask for some you know, I like solution oriented people. Mm -hmm. And so not to just be like, oh my God, you know, I can't believe you did this. Or, but like, let's come up with some ideas. Like, well, you know what you could do? Well, why don't you try this? Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's important, but only when I need it. Cause sometimes you yeah. don't want to, right? Sometimes, sometimes you just want to talk and just that's put why it you out say, there. Just listen, okay? Yeah, just don't give me to listen <laughs> to me yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah, but I'm my husband and I, we best friends. Like we gossip, I get advice. Yeah. I, get him advice. I think that's important too. I like the gossip. I love it. I we love do. when a guy could bring you some gossip and yes. you'd be like, What? Like, yes. what? <laughs> He tells yeah. me a couple. He be yeah. having a few little, you some tea. I love that. <laughs> a little tea. No, I really, I but like yeah, we we really are best friends. But one thing about him that I have to recommend, he does he is willing to like, even though he might not initially want to take what I say, he is willing to like come back later on and be like, you know what, I was wrong. Right. You was accountability. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, accountability. He always wanna encourage me, mm -hmm. believe. I think that's what you probably feel like you yeah. miss is somebody like encourage you, you know, like believe in mm -hmm. you. No, don't even worry about what I cause Shit, my husband grew up in Memphis with me. He know what I'm about or what I did, <laughs> yeah. you know? So it wasn't hard to, for him to say, oh, I know what she done did. I know she been a stripper. I don't feel like wife and it. I ain't finna wife her. Right, right. You know, he could have easily said that, but... I feel like everybody got a pass. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're going to do that, you ain't going to marry or be with nobody. And usually mm -hmm. these guys be and worse than be us. Some of them be sneaky. Them be the worst ones. Like, like, them be the ones with the long ass sheet this <laughs> long. Like, you slept with more people than me and right. I'm a porn star. And I'm a damn stripper yeah. and she a and porn thing, star. And the thing right. with me is, you know, there's only so many porn stars, so it's not really that many people, it's just how many times. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Have you ever gone and was supposed to film a scene and said, I'm not working with this person? Um, I have. Um, what would be a reason for that? You know, for me, I'm a big energy person. So anything, if I feel disrespected, if I feel like I'm just not vibing like what's going mm -hmm. on, then, you know, it's my pussy, my right. And I'm going to walk away. And so I've done it definitely. Because I had a, it wasn't even the performer. It was the director. He called me stupid because I uh -huh. was wearing this outfit and I was like, it doesn't fit me. And he's like, I don't pay you to think. I say, you don't pay me enough not to. So what the fuck you? And I was <laughs> like, so I left. Yes. Um, but most times I've been really, and then there was another time that I actually, it was like a, it wasn't even a porn. It was a, like a, what is it? It was movies, the softcore movies. Mm -hmm. It was something they wanted me to make out with this guy that I didn't, it was on my no list for scenes. And I was like, how do you want me to not fuck him but make out with him? Yeah, no, I'm good. Why would somebody be on your no list? Um, it could be from anything. From I didn't like his haircut. He's got bad breath. He's got a dick <laughs> like that I don't stanky. like. It could be whatever. Like have that's you, a, that's do you a do good porn thing. With women too, I do. <laughs> have you ever had like a stanky girl? I have, and you go to the do bathroom you and you it? sit. Yes, like because the good thing is like before the movie, like you do pictures, so you do like pretty girls, oh, you whatever. Can smear, you so be like, like uh -uh. I've definitely on one occasion had to be like, let's go to the bathroom. Let's right. talk about this, and then you know, because you don't want to like blow up her spot from everybody. Yeah. But um, that's me, cool. see on the meat they blew. For Queen me. blew up the spot. She yeah. was telling them that coochies was fucked. I, I was like, oh my God. This wipes. <laughs> so, Sometimes the wipes can't help that. For me, it's like, my pussy's my best friend. I know what she smells like. If you, I don't know how some people don't know, but you know, 
some people need to be told, to be. Mm-hmm. you know. But yeah, that has happened. So you'd be like, Shit, yeah, we're not going to work today. Like, but like what it tastes time. like. Exactly. Like I'm always like. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> before you go out, oh, before you do whatever, you know, I need to know I'm good and ready to go. I'm really comfortable with my box. <laughs> yeah. So let's get back to this scene on the mint where. It's, it, there's two scenes that I want to talk about. Which two, girl? You, <laughs> you know which two. So first being the body check scene. Okay. When they went to the strip club mm-hmm. and they had some. Can we say what club Somebody was staying or no? Can we say what club that was or no? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so they were at KOD a, in Atlanta, yeah. and it was literally like their first day in the house. She's like, "Come on, we going straight to the club." Yeah. So it was like, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. So Period. before they went you out get on the it, floor, Gigi. you know I get it. <laughs> So before we went out, before they went out, look at me. We said we. Because <laughs> I'm in it. I'm, in it. It's like it's like when the guys watch their sports teams and they be like, "We this, we that." That's how I feel. Watch this man. I swear to God, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. So they went to the strip club and they had to get on stage. And they had to dance, but before they went out, Queen, shout out to Queen. I love you, Queen. She's the house mom on the mint. So she gave them body checks, arms up, turn around, bend over, sniff test. Yeah. And there was two girls that did not pass. They did the not test. pass the test. Yes. And <laughs> the one girl, the w- one girl was like, "All right, cool. I'm gonna go handle home? my handle. What we've been we've been out all day. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Fired. I felt like I might have been cool, but I'm gonna go handle my handle." The other girl was like, "I don't stink. I don't stink." She yes. was pissing me off, girl. She kept saying her pussy don't stink, but Queen said that ass stink. <laughs> Not that pussy, baby. It was that. Yeah, ass. that's so, bad. That's yeah. I don't know if what's worse. Something. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Way. Well, we don't need any or odors. <laughs> no at the odors mean. whatsoever. Because guess what? While you clapping, that back that's wind. That's smelly. That's yeah. the wind. Yeah. Going. So, oh, so what happened was like exactly. a musky and not like I think booty. it was a booty like, like a, maybe yeah, like, like a all day booty. Like a booty yeah. juice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like a booty juice. All right. Sa- maybe a little sour, <laughs> right. you know. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> the swampy moving situation. Moving along to the second scene. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yo. Swamp booty. <laughs> At least you, the other you don't the first one, she was like, okay, let's <laughs> yeah. try to get it together. Yeah. She was like, oh, okay, cool. Let me go handle that. She she took it very well. But the other kept saying, my pussy. Now, I, my, she I had like, the security girl, smell of her pussy and everything. Security? She was like, this to the security. Security's like, 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 I do not get paid. And I want to hurt your feelings. That's what I was thinking. ain't going to lie. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking the security didn't want to be the bad guy. She should have just went and. She should have just she basically. In my opinion, as an entertainer and as a a person, a viewer, mm-hmm. I felt like as an entertainer, I felt like when you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Mm-hmm. Even it's even that, even I, I ain't danced in twelve years, but mm-hmm. I still follow my same hygienic practices every day as mm-hmm. if I'm finna get on the flow. Okay, mm-hmm. point blank, period. Okay. I don't, I don't, I have not changed any of that in 12, 13 years and counting. Mm-hmm. Um, but that like, girl, as a as a as a viewer, mm-hmm. say I never danced before, mm-hmm. that is going to tie into the stereotypical shit that people think about us. Yeah, they mm-hmm. think we nasty, they think mm-hmm. we dirty, they think we don't have good mm-hmm. hygiene, mm-hmm. they think all strip clubs stink. You ever go down mm-hmm. the comments and you see a bunch of people twerking and it be girls like I wonder what that's that stink. I, <laughs> yeah. I never, like, I never noticed that. I, 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 yeah, you yeah, won't notice it now. And when hair. I see that, I always think that's a reflection of what you smell like because yeah. Yeah. because the first person you ever gonna smell is your own. Right. And and I've never I've been to a couple I've danced with girls that I had to pull to the side like baby maybe you need to fresh up right mm-hmm. but I've never been to a strip club thank god where I had to tell a girl me neither no thank you because she smelled bad a gym I used to go to though they had pole <laughs> dancing classes and I am not gonna lie one day I was walking past there and it smelled terrible but that was in the gym yeah. sometimes girl, people was a little musty. yeah sometimes yeah. people be in the gym and they think they could just go to the gym without going home and showering yes. first yes. Or, it was no, the worst. Yeah, I can't stand out, when people and, I, and hot too. yoga too I've been in hot yoga classes yeah. where oh, I'm like Mm-hmm. Good lord. Yeah. Okay, now the second scene I want to talk about is when this girl shitted. She shitted and <laughs> no shame in her game. Yeah. So Tenneke is, is who, again, talking about Tenneke. <laughs> Um, she, she's, them, yeah. she is like the main character to me because okay. she's always in the mix. She's always in the mix. She's always in the mm-hmm. good or bad. She in the mix. Mm-hmm. Like every every episode, you talking about her, you looking at her, you talking to her. I gotta do something. With every, she's like the problem child. She's <laughs> like, <they laughs> but that's what, what makes the show a lot. You exactly. Know, that's, that's part of what. That's part of the show. Yeah. So yes. on the first day, they got the fight in, and literally. The girl beat shit out of her. Literally. Like literally. I'm sitting there it was like, she was like, is that shit on my floor? <laughs> <laughs> on the marble floor. Oh, they were she, fighting she, and she shit. She, 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 she from oh. from from. So it was like, yeah. It was like I shitted on the floor. Like, yeah. I was oh. like, you know oh. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you represent oh. 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was. This is for like, my shit. This was the no. first day. <laughs> 
<laughs> this was the first fight. Was it, it was the first fight? fight? No, this yeah, this was the second. The second fight. Okay. Yes, but it was they had already been arguing. Yes. Throughout from the first day, and yeah. I didn't understand why. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't. Y'all don't know each other. Y'all never met. So what they was the issue? At it. And it was just like. Tina Key went up there, put that mask on. I thought she was gonna come handle her. I did. Too. I was like, yeah, I, I did. Too. I mean, you know, like I'm not cheering for nobody, but if you want to fight, <laughs> she came back you know, with a push handle your business and got beat up. I got mean, shit beat out of her. I mean, I'm literally though, like it was shit smeared on the floor. Oh my gosh! Then you had to tell First her to take a shower. A Memphis accent. Did you want to smeared? Okay, to tell her to take, to a, take shower. a shower. <laughs> like how you shit on yourself and then don't? Did she have to clean she it up? She didn't take a shower. Yeah. She did clean like, it up. Yeah, nobody's cleaning She did clean it up. You got to clean it up. I told her you gonna have to clean it up. Yeah, she cleaned it up. We was sick. We was she even embarrassed about it? Because some people like she was a good sport about it. Like everybody was joking, calling her shitty. She said it was because. Did you hear what she said? Yeah, yeah. So her she, excuse. She said it was because she had been having anal before she came in the house. I, I was gonna that. bring that up next because <laughs> I don't believe that. Anal would make that shit come smooth. Are you out. I, I, I'm not an anal girl. That. Yeah, neither am I, but I know for a fact. I'm a, okay. Yeah, so anal, her shit <laughs> no, I agree with Angie. It makes the booty hole loose. I, you so know it how many like people smooth? guys have. But even if it was guys, a day, a or day two before, before, guys will have anal right. and have the girl with shit on there. What? Hold on. Who? There's girls who have shit on guys' dicks during oh, yeah. anal. Yeah, for like, sure, a lot. It definitely happens. But this have is you like a whole day happen? later. She I came from not, Memphis to Atlanta. I've heard it happening. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen it happening, but it's one of my biggest fears. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. definitely, uh-huh. definitely happens for okay. sure. But yeah, I've never seen it happen. That's yeah. There have been guys up here like, that have said that's happened yes, to them. That they do that's you do anal? Um, mm-hmm. That was one thing I was very selective with in the industry. And that was one thing I, at the time when I was married to my ex-husband, mm-hmm. I would only do it with him. Okay. Um, so Did you I, enjoy it? Or yeah, that was do a, you like that it? That was the thing. I have to be like very like horny to be into it so like doing a scene whatever like it's a lot of like build up there's a lot of prepping there's a lot of things so it's kind of like I would say I'm like a sexual athlete like you know I'm going oh, yeah, to you do said a yeah, 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 yeah. On a podcast yeah, yeah so it's uh you know it's one of those things so you're going you're going for war sexual war so <laughs> <laughs> you make sure you're clean really it's great. like Rocky but, uh, got to play in the background. So wow. when the times that I have done it, I've definitely enjoyed myself. But I, again, it's very select few. There's probably like a handful of times that I've done it. Mm-hmm. But you like okay. fingers and you're... I'm not really a big finger. You're not enemy. a booty girl I at all. Lick me. What about you your lick, booty lick? I could lick it, yes, all those things. But fingers... You, I'm sorry, yours lick. Yeah, you know, I might oh, okay, be mine licked, your, yeah. Okay. But I don't, not really big in the fingers and... You know, See, I'm not big on that either. Because so. man hands are really big. Sometimes they don't take care of their fingers and all kinds of things. I just mm-hmm. stay away. <laughs> just stay mm-hmm. away. <laughs> <laughs> just put that big in there. <laughs> no, I definitely have heard some stories. Because people are like prep for anal. Yeah. yeah. There's like, especially girls in the industry who mm-hmm. do it, like... They're because they're taking very large things, and so they're making they're like not eating the day before, they're like eating gummy bears, they're drinking Pedialyte, they're doing all kinds of stuff. Wait, gummy bears, yeah, because it's um, something with the digestion thing. I don't really know, I'm not a big anal girl, so keep from well, because like the the sugar, because they're not like they don't eat all day, so like they'll stop eating like the night before, so they're not faint, yeah, they can have a gummy Mm -hmm. bear. So now when you see somebody buying gummy bears, you're like, you're having anal, yeah, you know what, (laughs) on a porn set. Because <laughs> as much as I eat them damn, them gummy bears that you got me addicted to. I eat them to, every day. I got Kaya. Day. I got Y'all, y'all, y'all addicted to them gummy bears. Them Albanese. <laughs> y'all know those Albanese gummy bears? The gourmet yes, gummy bears? Yes. No wonder the guy they got them on the Dwayne Ring weeks at me every time I buy the gummy bears. <laughs> He's like, okay, mommy, I see you. <laughs> I see you. So wait, Jessica Dime. You <laughs> haven't had anal with your husband? Mm-mm. Would How long you have y'all been together? He done put his fingers in there, and my husband is a big man. Yeah, he's basketball. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's probably We've why you together. shouldn't do it. We'll be married <laughs> October 19th. It'll be six years married. Okay. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. So, and we've been together seven. Yes. yes. So, that's a long time to not even try. Okay. I'm scared of this. Did he ever try it, though? No. Have you tried? It? Have you tried ever it? tried it ever in your life? I told him. See, we married, but we never had an actual ceremony. We got okay. married in the courthouse. Mm-hmm. So I told him when I get my when I do when we do the ceremony, I do it. <laughs> okay. He was like, all kind of he stuff. Three the other day, me, so I'm ready after this ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Still thinking about that? Like what? We and you gotta do like the the butt plug, right? Yeah. You gotta to get to ready. Warm it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the butt yeah. plug. 
Yeah. Oh, well, maybe there's they might help plugs. make it feel like there's butt plugs you can like. Try no, it. it's to loosen it up. I don't want to hurt. The thing is, is like you just have to. You, if you overthink it, it's gonna hurt. Mm-hmm. You have to like be sexually stimulate yourself. Yeah, so like, if you're gonna play slow. with yourself and, and like you know, I do real bad. Mm-hmm. It's work. Mm. You I can never make, started? I can make girls no. Not like, oh. like, I didn't know it. Hold on, I, hold on. Like, <laughs> Alexis just offered. She said she can make girls squirt. Again, I've been known to make girls squirt. But I don't want, I want to learn how to do it. To yourself? Yeah. Oh, with your it's husband? Kind of, yeah, with my husband. Have you ever squirted in your life? She said no. Because oh. you can squirt from fingers or from a dick. So the dick is obviously your husband being there, whatever, but it's it's a G spot that you're hitting and then you just have, again, but a lot of times you may feel that you like the sensation of you want to pee. And you stop yourself. But you but stop I, yourself. I don't have that. So that's so what you just let go yourself. and like yeah. release. And I've like, never the squirted thing is, either. You see, I want to do it better. so bad. You seem like an I'll over come, but I can't that's squirt. What it is. I'm scared to let go. You seem it's, like an overthinker. So if you're going to be like, no, 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 don't do it. Then it can stop. But if you don't do that, then it's going to keep going. Then it's Because it's like a little splash of thing. It's not like you're pissing everyone as I pee. Right. Like when I squirt with from dick, when that when the dick hits that water spot, it's like splashes. It's not like a stream like right. piss yeah okay it's like you know? if, if you were gonna ejaculate like i mean like a man does but it's like mm-hmm. that but it's just like you know yeah. it's it's female it a lot ejac- more it's a lot more than it's everybody's different it's like uh-huh. some it's like female ejaculate and it's like you know it's you know it's a little mixture but it's mm. not like spring but then there's girls that are known to squirt in this like in the the sea, and, and they are like yeah. they squirt, but yeah. that's a mixture of piss yeah. I, that's, that's okay. because they're drinking okay. water and they're drinking they're pedialyte doing it on purpose. but yeah because they're drinking pedialyte they're drinking stuff to make them flush oh. themselves out right. so, pedialyte. so it's definitely you okay so i'm hearing pedialyte and gummy bears <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All the, tricks, but the texas drink. <laughs> <laughs> well while you're at it this is the perfect time for us to ask you for some some pro tips. Okay. Yes. yes. I'm, and keep it I'm gonna be honest, before you came here, there's a couple of guys. I'm not gonna look at none of them, but they <laughs> were like, Can you please the ask room. her uh for tips that we can give our girlfriends of things that they could do for us in the bedroom. And then I said, and you know what else? Y'all could use some tips and what you could do for right. us too. So we yeah. want for you um okay. to give tips to the women on things they can do in the bedroom, maybe to spice it up or excite their man. Always start with the blowjob. You know, okay. do don't that. just stop at the tip. Go all the way down. And use both hands. Gag on it a little bit. You know, even make the noise, even if it's not gaggable. You know, just pretend. Just pretend. Just pretend. Yeah. Right. So pretend. Put on the <laughs> your eyes rather, You know, yeah. I feel like the more attention that you bring to, you know, the head of the dick is always the best part of it because it's the most stimulating thing, especially when you're doing it right sensitive. behind the bottom and you just keep going and you look in them in the eyes and you're like, "Bitch, I know you want to fucking come and you're gonna come, aren't you?" You know. So we should say that. Okay, say that. I think eye contact is a really big (laughs) thing. You know what I mean? Eye contact is really big while you're stroking the dick. You said do what? Eye Eye contact. contact. Okay, eye contact. You know, because if I'm looking at it, see, I'm staring at you, and this is your dick, Angela. (laughs) We're talking to you. (laughs) (laughs) You know you want to come for me, don't you? Yeah, I do. (laughs) I want it so bad. (laughs) Angela, you're so nasty. And then I like to incorporate, you know, the, the big booty things is standing up and shaking the ass while you're sucking the dick. So you have two different visuals. Wait, hold on. How are you, you standing up? I look sucking dick. I, that's that's my, no, that's like, my favorite way. Like, so yes, like, so. Come on, Texas. Oh, oh, standing. Okay, standing oh, up a bit oh, over. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Get do you that normally have It's fun there. for the whole family. Do you have music playing? Family. Like, do you ever play music during? It's fun during? for the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I do. I'm a big music person, but I don't need to have it. I feel like I have my own soundtrack in my head. Okay. I feel like, but I'm more of like an R&B if I'm going to be like sexy times, you know, mm. start the mood. A little playlist. A little playlist, you know, <laughs> keep things interesting. Yeah, and now for men, what are some things that you love? That men For do. men. Mm-hmm. I feel like not enough men eat pussy. Okay. I feel like they need to, you know, really learn what the clit is mm-hmm. <laughs> and pay attention to that very well. Mm-hmm. And your girl will probably do anything for you if you can make her come at least two to three times eating her pussy and then fucking her. Mm-hmm. You got a winner. Wow, two to three times eating yeah. pussy? I don't even think I that time. I'm a habitual, I'm like, I'm done after two, I'm going to sleep. I'm cool. I'm I'm cool. 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 i am cool i am cool i am cool i I mean, it depends on who's doing it, but not very long if they're good. Okay. Because mm. that's ever, the thing. Like, I can come like, really quickly. Uh, I do that a lot. 
Yes and no. Like it depends again the person, but like I feel like sometimes they don't let me edge and they make mm. me come, and then it's you know a game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not mad at all. Do you like the women doing it with the women or the men? Because, uh, do you like have women eat pussy or men? Um. Well, I feel like for me in porn, I started working with women because women knew how to eat pussy better. Mm. Okay. Men hate when we say that. I feel the same they way. Do, so that's why I, I learned like a lot pussy of pussy too, eating things from a lot of women that were really good at it. So mm-hmm. that's why it's like, for me, it's like, I, I you have to be very special soft. for me to eat your yeah, pussy. I think that's what it is. You say what? I don't I think, know. For me, it's always been men that eat pussy it. better. Like, I've never had a girl make me forget about the guy who ate my pussy the best. Okay. And I've had girls eat my pussy. It's probably just the attraction mm-hmm. to the man, too, for you. And I have... No, wait, wait. Oh, it's coming back to you. Okay. Where's she one at? time? Where's she <laughs> at? <laughs> I'm looking for Yo, her. Your orgasm there's one, girl, there's one girl, the one girl that I have threesomes with. Yeah, she she knows how to eat my pussy really good. <laughs> she's oh, had you practice, though. Did you pick to do it with our She's, had, yeah, she's have, had practice, though. So Yeah, she's, she's you know who it ringer. is. I know who it is. You know who it is. <laughs> but she, um, no, she's the only person that I've had threesomes with. Like, I've had... Um, Two threesomes with her with two different guys. Okay. Yeah. So you comfortable with her? Yeah, I'm comfortable mm-hmm. with her. Like, she's the only girl that I've had sex and we share the guy. I've had other moments with girls eating my pussy but not having sex with the guy. They don't want the guy. They only want it yeah. to be with me. Mm-hmm. So that I don't think it's the same thing. No. Right? It's, so, it's not the yeah. same thing. So amazing. Yeah. Let me ask you this. If you <laughs> so had amazing. sex with another woman, would um would your your husband would Sean be mad? Or is that cheating? I feel like that's cheating. We yeah. Married, yeah. yeah. Okay. You're exchanging that. fluids. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, uh-uh. yeah that's true. So You're even if you ask, fluids. like, would you ask him if you ever? Or you just don't even. Well, I don't even. Ain't nobody floating my boat. But if I felt like that, mm-hmm. I would probably tell him, "Well, I think I saw somebody I like, and I think he'll be happy." Right. He's like, yeah, so the he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm like, What's your Instagram? No, I'm, like, I'm telling you, yeah, I think he would be definitely okay with it if I did like a girl, as long as I bring it to him. Right. Because you know, guys don't be like. Intimidated by that. I feel like some people do, though. It depends because I think again, like you said, it's 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 cheating if you're in a relationship yeah, or would, whatever. Yeah, like I, I think you just have him. to like right. yeah, tell but, the person. Maybe not with with some people's different situations are different. Maybe they ask him like, "Hey, would you mind?" Because some guys don't. But if you just fuck the girl and you're like, "Hey, I fucked him," I feel like, bad calling my husband like, "I just seen a fine bitch. I'm out of town. I'm gonna go. Fuck her. <laughs> I don't think that'd be no. That Jesus be used to want to have you a wife. Be surprised he'll also, get I used to want. I used to want me and my yeah. my ex to have a girlfriend. Really? Yeah, yeah, she did. Mm-hmm. She wanted to have a girlfriend because I just wanted to have a regular girl that we could have sex with because we was having sex with like strangers in different countries. And even though you just said that that was your fantasy, but to do it all the time, we was doing it all the time. Would you I only want it? I'd rather back do it all either. The time I think it would have been cool. They end up getting some type of mm. feeling. Well, I'm glad I never did it because yeah, you did. When when all of his skeletons fell out the closet, I I was almost buried. No, you didn't them. deserve that. Are you? Serious? I don't think he deserved it, but I think yeah. you would have been fine with yeah. it. Like you would have had like a sister that you could have like told to get water and washcloths. To <laughs> water and washcloths. Like, we need to wash I mean, I looked, at it, I looked at it more of me saving my jaw strength yeah. because right exactly like you would have been able to be like, all right, I'm gonna get in the shower. Can you yeah, suck his dick, dick for me quick. while yeah. I'm in the shower? Yeah, <laughs> y'all, y'all go ahead. When you start doing that, you probably don't like, like him that much anymore. Yeah, when you start, I can, I'll, I'm the th- that's the thing, the threesome thing. I just think I don't, I don't mind doing the. She suck his dick. I he, she eat my pussy, and me and him fuck. Right. Mm-hmm. But, but now just watching man. him fuck another bitch, I'm not doing it. Right. That's mm-hmm. a, I didn't agree to that yet. But, but she can suck his dick. She said yeah. She can suck his dick. Okay. So I don't think I care she can about that. Pussy. Mm-hmm. And she can eat my pussy. And but yeah, imagine we've had watching that. the man that you love having a girl rolling her like, eyes. Like, but, yeah, yeah. but he's going back to you. So I don't think I, don't think I gotta be either. real old and dry. <laughs> like, okay, it's gotta be here. Like, I'm just old and dry. One of the first times. You know, like, it's like, I don't fuck her. One of everybody. the first times I ever had a threesome with a couple that happened, the girl got. The the wife or girlfriend, whatever they were. Yeah, she got mad. She stopped it. She stopped him mid stroke. Like, ah, we See, done. I just Enough. don't understand. Because he was enjoying me way that. too much. And she was just like, no, uh uh-uh, uh, stop. <laughs> 
No. She couldn't take it. Mm-mm. So y'all don't want to be embarrassed like this. <laughs> well, listen, you guys, I appreciate this very fun conversation. I knew this was going to be fun. Very fun and I open a conversation. I had a ball. Yes. You got to make sure you come back. And yes. congratulations on everything. And we're we looking forward to a new mint, season. Child. Oh, yes. Y'all tell now that's TV. Shout out to Tilo. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, the CEO. And how many episodes are there going to be? The 12, you said? I'm or? thinking it's going to be 10 to 12. I okay. just say that. 10 to 12. And reunion. Mm-hmm. They already on the internet fighting about the reunion. <laughs> Who's gonna bring so, who? So wait. So just so that the viewers are clear, because I already know this. When so the the end point is, or the purpose of them being in this house mm-hmm. is that they get support from you. They win yeah, ten thousand dollars. Tra- I'm helping chain. them transition out of the club, and they win ten thousand dollars in a chain. The winner wins ten thousand in a chain. Right, but. Even without the winner, like the people that don't win, I'm still thinking about things for them. I'm right. still lining right. up things. I'm putting together moves, mm-hmm. tour. We're going to do a tour. And I'm it's drop- still a good platform for them, yeah. too. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. a good opportunity. Yeah. yeah. I'm dropping the Mint soundtrack with the music from the, from show, the show. And I'm putting some of the girls on there, putting mm-hmm. some of their music on there. And your music is on there, too. Yeah. 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 So should- I'm back in that yeah. bag. You know, <laughs> I, I still got now music that, that I'm... I'm a fan of Now That's TV. I yeah. watch almost every show on that <laughs> Thank you so much, even though I'm just the newcomer. But I love it there. I love it there. Yeah, it's cool. All right, and private talk with Alexis. You guys can check out her podcast. And so you're back, right? So now you're also going to be... I've been preparing some things, been working on some stuff. At the end of this month, I'm dropping some stuff on my OnlyFans page that uh, I think people are really excited to see that I haven't done before. And um, yeah, Well, that you haven't done before. I haven't done before. New shit. Y'all know they were trying to get me to drop OnlyFans. I'm scared. I'm going to talk to you about it. I got you. Girl, yes, yeah, I might do. Wait, wait, what are some things you haven't done before that you just have to stay tuned? Gonna have to, we gonna have Ooh. to see what's happening up on that well, only thing. Yeah. I'm gonna know. That. We wanna know. We need a little glimpse. You know, maybe I'll give you a little taste. Oh, that Uh-oh. feels like a hit right there. <laughs> that hit okay. a little different, Conrad. Kind of hey. She's gonna make us all squirt. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I, want I some give to Tori. I give to Tori. Why she says she knows how? Okay. <laughs> now it's a, a lip service orgy. What the fuck is going on? That's what happens when Miss Texas comes to play. Period. <laughs> right. Well, thank y'all so much. I really appreciate it. Again, Alexis, Texas, Jessica Dime. We had a good time with y'all. Thank you for Thank you. Me. All right. I appreciate TG it. McGuire, Stephanie Santiago, it's lip service. Period. Yeah.